Hey. <coughs> well, how's it going? This, this is video key. Uh, this is the warm-up. This is a good, it's a 10-15 minute warm-up. Um, uh, so once you're nice and warm, you've got to get your sweat on. Joints start feeling a bit looser. Uh, you're ready to warm up. If you don't want to warm up cold, or do you want to stretch cold, because it's like, it's like a fuck in the bar, it's a sweetie bar. Uh, if it's cold, it's just going to snap, you know what I mean? You're just going to injure yourself. Uh, you want to, you want to, um, not be nice and warm, you want it to be nice and loose, and so it's stretchy and stuff, right? Uh, the same with the warm down, the warm down, just stretching everything back into place again, because when you've been training, uh, everything, it's all like disjointed and stuff, it's like moved into the way that you're trying to train, because it's, your body's trying to be efficient. So when it cools down, it gets, it's all warped and it feels all weird and then you're more likely to get injured. So, <coughs> stressing is the most important thing to do. Uh, stressing, sleeping, eating right, training, that's all you need, you know what I mean? <coughs> right, so here we go. So I'll start from the top down, okay? So, first of all, hand. I don't know what to call a stretch, uh, but you're, tra you're stretching your shoulder, your trap, and in here. Right, so you, your forearm right across, stretch the sides so it's so it's so that it's straight. Hold it until you can feel a bit of tension here. Male tension, you don't want to feel pain. If you're doing pain, it's you're stressing too much, okay? So <coughs> that's my yoga instructor that helped me. So you have it. This is very long time stretch, it's also. Um, so give it a wee twist. Is that actually going to stretch? And other side. So at all times during stretching, also you want to be good posture. You know what I mean. So the posture is feet facing out the way, slightly shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent. Because when you're putting pressure on your back, your knees and your hips take it. So if they're all tight, you're putting more pressure on your spine. So you want to say nice and loose. <coughs> um, uh, you want your hips. The best way to keep your hips neutral is for your arse. I, I mean, right, keep your arse out the way, push your arse out, right? Engage your core. So, your six pack muscles you want to so they're not having tense, but make sure they're in the right place. So, you're standing up straight. So, you pull your shoulders back, right? So, your shoulders are back. So, you're standing like this, your chest is out, your chin's straight. Uh, so, that's that's good posture there, okay? So, this is the way we should be walking about. As, as humans, we are still learning to stand up straight. Um, <coughs> so, you having good posture, you want to pass it on to your kids. It's evolution, right? So, feet, knees, hips, core, shoulders, chest, chin. Okay. So, so <coughs> back to the stretch. So we're triceps straight out, hand give it that wee twist, then behind the head. <coughs> so. You just pull, pull it down as far as it goes. You're trying to get straight. Ideally, you would want your two hands to be able to touch behind your back. If you can't do it, then you have really tight shoulders, okay? As you can see, I have really tight shoulders. <coughs> but if you're fully flexible, if your joints are all okay, you should be able to do that. No problem. <coughs> right, so. feel sore you just want that wee bit of tension hold it all these stretches should be done ideally for 30 seconds each you should do them all twice for 30 seconds each then so we're all together so we will do that hold it for 30 seconds let it go hold it for another 30 seconds that's ideal but in the real world who the fuck's holding their arms for 30 seconds is a pain you know uh, so then I do this one just grab your hands pull that back and lift it as far as it would go just you get that nice shoulders and chest stretch. Like sometimes I get up against the wall like this. And then you squat like this. But so I'll go. Right? Um, and so then up against the wall. Stand back a bit. Lean into it. So you feel that whole stretch. You feel it in the shoulders and the whole way down your back side your back here right and in the chest so you, you want to have this vertical ideally you're doing this on the corner of a door but as you can see i have limited space so we'll just do it here okay so 
you have pushing against it, right? So you have the vertical and you're leaning into it. You want to feel this stretches all around here, this is the other chest, so you can feel it in the back as well. So hold it for 30 seconds. Other side, other side. And then as far as it goes without hurting, see if, see if you're feeling pain, then that means you have tight tendons or tight muscles. Um, you need to see if there's a way to work out. Um, or you could do, but I'll show you in the next video, I don't know what do for yourself, but it'll be really physical. Um, so then, we have it up the way, so it's a different part of the chest, because your chest is in three parts. Three main parts, it's the lower upper middle. Right. So then the other side. I can feel that in the back as well, it's a good stretch. So then the lower part, so you have your another the angles down the way. <coughs> other side. So, 30 seconds each time. Really fit. So, then we're going to stretch our biceps and our back and shoulders and stuff. Like any of these, you know, it's all those back shoulders of the chest. So, right? so, ideally, you would want to be doing this in door frame. This is sort of handy because it's like a grid, so you can open it. But who has the fucking bedroom on their floor, right? So, so then you hold it and you get the door, corner of the door, right? That one is the corner of the door. You hold it like this and you'll twist into it. Too into it so I can put a nice flexible this for okay I've been practicing this for a while I can get right. but if you can't get it in don't worry like I just head to jump for the life until very recently until I understand until I find out the importance of stress so then other side same thing um on a door a fizzy pokey hold on to the door handle so that would be the next one. So like, I do this from multiple angles. So this is a flat angle, then four, 90 degree angle. And I'll be able to corner my fist and it's stretching a different part of your arm. And you can stretch your neck all the way across until okay, you get an actual bit of stretch. Other side. <coughs> Fist. Sometimes when I do, I feel. Sometimes I won't. F I won't feel a nickel when it goes like this. But when I go like this, I feel a nickel. It means I'm hitting. I can feel it. I hit hitting different parts of my arm. So other side again. Oh, I can feel that. It's nice. It's loose now. Right. So the last one. Is the next one is um, so the opposite direction, so corner of the door again. So you hold on the corner of the door like this, you do it up high to get to get deeper into the shoulder, or else you can do it low, the better part of the shoulder. So I do it straight in the middle, and then to cross, so leaving my idea into it slightly, and then you can go out. So you feel the nail there. It's just nice and loose, that's it, nice and loose. Don't, don't, don't go too hard on it. Don't hurt yourself. Same with all these stretches. You're going to really, uh, <coughs> if you're stretching too hard, then the next time you won't be able to stretch it much because your tendons is, are trying to recover. So it's kind of productive if you overstretch. So that'll do us there. Um, so, <coughs> right, so then we're moving into the midriff. Oh, sorry, one more, oh, two more exercises, right? So these are two back stretches. So, let on your drive in a car, or you have some, like an opponent or something by the back of the head. So, just stretch now as far as you can. Twist. You should feel that across your mat here. Other side. <coughs> this is one I love, right? So, down. Hold on to your thigh, pull, pull it out. 
to get stripped. So that's your back stretch there, then. Um, so then we're going to do so your core. So this is the top of your core, and this is stressing your hamstrings, your glutes, <coughs> and across. So you're trying to get your arm as far down your leg as it'll go. Some of this, this usually hurts me in a stretch, which means that uh, hamstrings and stuff are tight. Like, you know, better stretch, wherever it's just tight, more you need to practice on. Other way. So, for this side, I've done five ten games. <coughs> there we go. Right. So, then we're going to move into the legs now. Um, there are more core stuff. I am able to do some more core. We'll, we'll move on the ground now, and I'll show you more. So this one, it's, it's a good balance exercise as well. Um, so if you're struggling to stand straight, we tip, just keep your, a wee tip is to keep your finger on the nose. For some reason, it helps you balance a bit better. So then down, one leg across, down nice and slow. Go you land in the back of your hamstring, and it's slow. That'll be a nice and slow, nice and slow. That one, and be gentle with your lower body because everyone's posture is bad. Your lower back gets pains off very, very quickly from sitting all day. It's just the way we sit, we, we are terrible. We're just too lazy as a species now. So, then in the, the squat. So you want to sit here for as long as you can. You want to be able to be able to sit like this for two minutes all day. If you ever see those wee old Asian men sit like this all day and they live forever, Asians <coughs> have real good longevity. This is a stretch I like doing, well I like doing it at the, the end more. Really nice. I actually bouncing about is bad, it's bad, it's a bad habit. So I just want to be If you want that actually you've got to push, this helps open up your hips, you push your knees from here. So right, so another stretch standing up is uh, this one's better at walking, but that's way it's stretch. So get your ankle and you wanna hold below your knee. Some people pull over the way or something like this is the best way to do it. You want to support your leg. And then push into it. Oh, man. Make my balance is terrible. <coughs> Actually, we'll do a balance, really quick balance one as well. Um, so, for balance, so you're down one leg. So I know where that my, my left leg isn't the best today. Uh, I'll open up. Um, <coughs> right, so we'll go on to the curve around the perimeter. Yeah, we'll do. Right, so <coughs> first of all, we'll do the our glutes and hamstrings. Right, so obviously this is a my road. You want to go the whole way up for the first one. Your leg, you want your leg completely stretched. Touch your whole body first. Over. 
So can you let's see, use your knee? I'm just showing you this work, you should do it, you should set, every one of these positions, you should set them first, for 30 seconds. Like, so. That's so nice, man. That's okay. Let it go on over. Get a bigger stretch. Chest lines for a little bit. Yeah. And butterfly. People try and push their legs down with their elbows. You want to put feet right in. Moisture. Push and push up, but that's putting unnecessary pressure on the hips. stress the middle week. <clears throat> so this one down as far as I can go. for 30. Stretch your leg, round your chest, lean as far down as you can go. Hold it for 30. Yep, or save for 30. Stretches, 
خیلی خوشحال Too much band in the land in it. Yeah. Or on the ankle. Right? So we want your ankle to be touching the ground. You can give yourself some support like this. It helps push it. Um, so if you're on your if you're on your hands, yeah, and it takes a bit of pressure off your knees. This time, push back on as far as it'll go without being too painful. Looking for weight in your hips. Get them high kicks going. Um, last one I'll show you is a, another uh, core stretch, right? So, right, so up high, bring them low. I like using this for sort of putting air stress as well. One more. Let's see. So this is it. So we go out as far as it go. Yeah, up. As far as your hamstrings are like that. Yeah. Good. Do that wee twist. Get the sides back in. So the stretch there. Um, I might do another video because I think I've forgot a lot of stretches. Um, but there you go, like after the stretch, it's really sweating. <coughs> Good stretch. And that's your nice one on the train. So thank you very much, lovely crap. I'll see you in the next video.